Welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. I'm gonna be planting some winter squash and summer squash here in this bed. So when it comes to interplanting, uh, a lot of people say that it's not good to plant cucumber, which is right back here, with squash because they're too closely related and they can attract too many pests and then you'll have a problem. But that's what I'm gonna do right now. Just because, honestly, I don't have a lot of space to put this squash and I wanna get more squash in the ground. It's one of my favorite things to grow. Uh, they're prolific and they're good eating. I don't have a lot of space to put them. Plus, I wanna try to test this and see if it's actually true. Are we gonna have a problem with pests by planting these two together? I don't think so. I mean, I already have a major problem with pests all through my garden, especially with squash. So I got a big problem with squash vine borers. I'm gonna test this theory and I think we're not gonna see much of a difference. What I could end up seeing is a problem with cucumber beetles. Uh, we do have sometimes a problem with those as well. And having squash right next to cucumbers could attract them and make a major problem. But I'm not sure. We're going to test this out and see how this works. So, so right here you can see I've got them laid out how I'm going to plant them. I'll go through the different varieties of squash that I've got as seedlings here. Um, I've got some amendments that I'm going to put into the soil. And I've also got some mushroom compost that I'm going to lay on top to help get those amendments going a little quicker. Also, in that wheelbarrow, you can see I've got a lot of mulch. Um, I pulled that up from here because this was heavily mulched. Let's go through the different varieties I've got here. This is the Burgess Buttercup. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I've also got another Burgess Buttercup here, so that's going to be two of them. They're going to spill out here onto the ground and come out this way. Here I've got Sweet Dumpling, which also is a vining one that's going to come out. That's a winter squash that's going to come out this way as well. And these aren't huge plants, so I can get away with putting them kind of close together. Uh, they will kind of grow into each other, but i got a lot of room here for them to sprawl out. Both of these here in the center are Table King Acorn Squash. I really like acorn squash. I'm going to plant those two. And then on the outside, this is, I don't know how to pronounce this, guys, but Tiat that put basically it's it's uh, avocado squash if you've ever seen it so i got one there and that other one there and we're just gonna start by putting the holes and you want these really deep because we are going to bury some of the stem these can root on their stems and so if you get it nice and deep we'll get extra roots which is really good for them so all right now the, all the holes are dug Let's go ahead and start amending. I'm going to start with blood meal here. That's going to help with the vegetation growth in the beginning here. I want to get them starting fast. Handful here. Sprinkle in maybe a quarter of the handful in each hole. Maybe a third. Next, probably the most important is bone meal. That's going to be for root development. It's going to really help. And we're going to do pretty much a half a handful each hole. And then this is a all-purpose type fertilizer. It's a 624. It's got everything. It's made from chicken manure. Uh, use whatever all-purpose you want. I'm doing about a half a handful each. Maybe a whole handful. And these are heavy feeders. So you really want to feed them well. And then you always want to press a little bit to get good soil contact with the roots. Make sure there's no big air pockets. Now let's even that out. Now we just need to water in. Okay, one other thing I'm gonna do is add this mora bloom and also the fish plant food. So these two are gonna give some nutrients right away. Um, they're also gonna help kickstart the decomposition process of that fertilizer that I put in, the granule fertilizer. That organic granule fertilizer is not bioactive and so it's not available to the plants until it breaks down. So this Mora Bloom is all potassium and phosphorus. It's 0 10, 10. It's good for the root development. But this is the stuff, it's 5 one, one. 
It's a lot of nitrogen, and it's mostly nitrogen, but this has a lot of beneficial microbes in it that are gonna help break down everything. So it's really important to add this. All right, we're just gonna water each plant with it. Now we gotta replace the mulch. So let's just go ahead and start scooping it up, putting it on. Mulch is back on top. Give this one last shower. I'm just gonna replace my drip lines here. I had to pull them up to be able to pull that mulch off, so. And we're all planted. Several months later. Well, my experiment uh, failed. <laughs> so all of these got destroyed by pests. Now, the pests that destroyed these here, you can see right there, that's the uh, squash vine borer. I've got them all through here, so it just, it killed this plant. I think it got that one too. Actually, every single one of these, that one completely. Look, it just cut it off from the center. So there wasn't much I could do on that. I, they were just all over this, swarming it. I couldn't pick off all of the, the eggs um, and I missed a couple and they just destroyed it. So uh, this one got hit a little bit, you can see, but it's still kicking, sort of. I don't know if it's gonna produce or not. We'll see, but it's definitely not doing well. Now the heat is probably the problem. So these cucumbers are getting blasted by the sun. I really probably should have put up a shade cloth here. They would have done a lot better, but they're getting blasted. And so they're, they're stressed, they're not doing well. You can see I've got some disease going on on, on these and they're just getting destroyed. I'm not sure if this kind of proves that you can't grow squash and cucumbers together. Maybe it does. I mean, it does, that's the whole point is, okay, well, if you grow them together, they're plagued by the same pests, you're gonna get an overload of pests. But I would think that the same thing would apply to growing multiple cucumbers in the same bed. Um, you just, you have a lot, you're gonna, you're gonna get more pests. So unless you can keep up with it really well, which I, I couldn't, um, other than spraying pesticides, which I don't wanna do, I really couldn't keep the pest pressure down. And I think that would be the same whether I planted this or not, because the pests that killed these are the squash vine borers. They really don't mess with cucumber at all. Maybe they would, I don't know, but I haven't had a single one come over. I don't have any visible signs of them on the cucumber. Now the stuff that killed the cucumber, I really do think it's the heat. I think it's the, the high heat just kind of stressed them out so much that they, they kind of are dying back, in fact, Almost every single one of the brand new cucumbers, especially on this variety. This one is a Korean, I think, maybe a Japanese, but it creates those really long, thin cucumbers. Um, that just, it never did well. And it's really more of a cool weather, um, cooler weather uh, cucumber. Um, the one that did pretty decent was the homemade pickle. So that one, you can see I've got Got a couple pickles or a couple cucumbers on here and they're doing okay. They're not shriveling up and dying. Uh, there was another one down here. There we go. Um, I got another one over here. That's also a homemade pickle or ho I think that's what it's called. Homemade pickle. That one's ready to pick actually. There we go. So I'm getting some, but I think that's what killed it is just the heat. Um, even the homemade pickle, which is doing better, it's still not doing great compared to what it should be doing. Um, last year I had them covered with shade cloth and they did a whole lot better with that. So I think that's the, that's the problem. So I might just wipe out this bed pretty soon, pick everything um, and replant some cucumber uh, with a shade cloth over top. So that's, that might be the plan. That might be what I do because I'm not really liking what happened here but maybe maybe that does you guys let me know what you think do you think it's because i planted squash and cucumber together which they say is a big no-no or do you think it's just the heat that killed off the cucumber i mean I, anytime i plant squash they usually die pretty quickly although this was quicker than i've ever had it didn't even get to produce but i've gotten some production off my squashes but this one nothing now if you guys like this kind of content please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates also if you could hit the like button it would really help me and the channel out i will see you on the next video now you guys try to escape the daily grind